na seu marido. Ever. Hello boys and girls, welcome to Art Attack, the place where you can join in the arty party and have a lot of fun and make some things along the way. Today we're going to have a lot of fun making something that you can make at home and all you need is a brush, some loo roll, some glue, a little bit of poster paint and a lot of creativity. And you'll end up with... <laughs> and you'll end up with something a little bit just like this. You know what I say? That's an art attack. That's an art attack. This is Art Attack. G'day everyone, welcome to Draw With Jazza. I'm Jazza and I hope you enjoyed my little uh, Art Attack spoof intro. That is as close as I can remember the intro to Art Attack. Now over the years, a lot of you who watch this channel have commented that you get mad Art Attack vibes from some of my videos. And that's because I was a huge sucker for Art Attack as a kid. I watched it all the time. It really inspired me. It got me creative. I used to try making a lot of the things he made and a lot of the art challenges that I've done on this channel have been directly or indirectly inspired by the show Art Attack, which started quite some time ago. And I actually haven't watched it for about 20 years. I want to see how much nostalgia is clouding my lens when I think back to Art Attack and I also want to see if it holds up to today's day and age. If, if they really don't make them like they used to or if maybe they just, if they maybe stopped making things like that for a reason. I don't know. Let's explore it together. We're gonna to go through quite a lot of Art Attack today through a whole bunch of seasons to see how the show evolved and where it ended up. I don't even know where it is today, if it exists today or where in the world it's been created, but season one, episode one, let's jump into it. This is an Art Attack. This is an Art Attack. This, this is, is Art Attack. attack. <laughs> Oh man, I totally remember that intro. Do, 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 that was it's so epic. Oh my god, I am so jealous of that set. I feel like I've been subconsciously trying to recreate the art attack set. <laughs> Look at that, I want all those giant art materials. I keep getting the urge to do this. Woo! Mm -hmm. Now I call it plop art. I need to make a plop art video. Like now. <laughs> Plops away! Now this is season one, episode one, but this is not the Neil Buchanan or Art Attack that I remember. He looks much younger here than I remember watching him as, and it's a totally different set. Okay, so then we have these uh, these giant pictures that he did, and this is one of his trademarks. This is one of the things that like everyone knows happened on Art Attack. On a, on a massive canvas of just space, he'll like make a picture. Oh, look at that, he made a big dog. He made a big doggy. That's um, I mean, that's cool. I do have to admit that it's less impressive now than I felt it was back then. I mean, it's sort of cool, but I really felt like back then I was like, oh, they are so amazing and detailed and epic. But that's just one of them. I'm sure he's done like other epic ones. I really shouldn't be hypercritical because really what matters is how it made me feel as a kid and it, it inspired me. So that's that's really what counts. Here's a big one with a lawnmower. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Except it's hard to see with the really, really low resolution pixelated video, but let's just ignore that. I mean, you have to admit, this is revolutionary. This guy was a pioneer. He was made to be a clickbaity YouTuber before YouTube existed. Look at him. Look at that. That would be an amazing thumbnail. There's a tree in spring. God, look at that hair. Summer. That's the same hair dude my mum had in the 90s. I feel like my mum was inspired by Neil Buchanan too. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Man, this guy's the original art theater, th 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 thespian. That's the word. <laughs> Is it just me or am I basing my life on Neil Buchanan? <laughs> I, I, no, but honestly, like the whole like over dramatic art theater bigger than it should be, but just lots of fun. Like that's that's the vibe I, I love and I think try and emulate. I think I feel like a lot of that comes from watching this. So that's season one. Let's move on to season two. Wait, how many seasons are there? 19. My God. Wow. Hello, 
and welcome once again. I tell you, it is good to be back. It's good to be back. This is the place where we are going to have some fun with art. I, fe I feel like I'm stealing his slogans. I end every video saying that this is where we have fun with art and creativity. But where's Art Attack? Maybe I've taken the reins. Unintentionally. I would like to think so. I'm not that special, but I wish this was Art Attack. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is season two. Was this the beginning of this dude? Because I remember him as the, the puppet. We'll find him later. But this must have been how he originated on the show as a dude with paper mache on his face. Here's another one. How's season two? He's got tin foil on a dark backdrop. I feel like it felt like this every time I watched an episode of Art Attack. When we got to the big art, it was like, oh, oh, here we go. Oh my God. What is it, Neil? What is it? It's an airplane! Fur, fur, fur. That was cool. I love it. This is living up to my nostalgia. That never happens with these things. All right, season three, what do you got? Hey, 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 sure. yeah! Here's that, that's the one I remember. That's where, the, that's how the statue head guy ended up. He was so cool. What's this? <gasps> he copied my video. Big black backdrop. Drawing with white salt. I told you I was directly inspired by this guy. It's not called th theft. It's called Flattery. <laughs> I don't know. That's a video I've done not consciously knowing that they did it on Art Attack. But with the amount of seasons they did and the amount of big art he did, there's probably nothing that he didn't make art out of in big art. <laughs> you need is an ancient stone freeze. Oh my god, he's gonna do the- th he's gonna do the loo roll thing! Loo roll! Loo roll! Loo roll and glue! Of loo roll. Yeah, motherfucker! And then mix some PVA glue with, with equal parts PVA and water. Slop it out. Oh my god. The loo roll and glue thing. I've used that on this channel many times. In fact, this is probably the biggest example of loo roll and glue in application. I did Halloween masks with the loo roll and glue technique. This is where I learned that. And I'd st I use it now as a grown ass man in all sorts of projects. So good. If you shake off the excess sand. <gasps> oh my God. So cool. Even now. Oh, <sighs> oh big art, big art. Is it big art? It's a big art. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it, Neil? I can't bear it anymore! It's gotta be milk or It's a cow! Ha! Oh, should have known, should have seen that coming. Looks good though. You're getting better, Neil. Alright, let's jump ahead a bit. So now we have season 15. <gasps> yes! Yes! This is where I was really into it. The 3D intro days. Yeah, look at those. Oh, look at him. Look at that budget from the skyrocket. That's crazy. That's the Neil I know and love. Okay. This is 2004, another revamped intro. This I haven't seen, it's a bit gritty. Is this when movies started rebooting with gritty reboots as well? <laughs> Was Art Attack having a gritty reboot? Hello there, good to see you again. It's still Neil Buchanan in 2004. Good, good, good. He's been doing it for over 10 years at this point and still going bloody strong. That's, that's my Neil. All right, so this is series 18, 2005. Oh, big art, we got another big art. What are you doing, Neil? It's uh, is it salt again? It's salt. You've done this before, Neil. I mean, he's obviously uh, rehashing the old classics. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with. Um, I mean, if it if it worked well, why not do it again? I don't know. After doing an art show for ten years, you, you'd probably have to reuse <laughs> a lot of the stuff you do. It's pretty hard to come up with original content. That's why I'm watching someone else's original content for my content. Because your art attacks are fantastic. Oh, what a fabulous night sky oh, created see, by Rupert. Neil did it too. You can't, you can't give me crap for reacting to other people's original content because even his original content that I'm reacting to, he is reacting to other people's original content. And I'm sure Rupert Henry, seven years old, was r making this based on Starry Starry Night. And I bet you that was copied off. So life is a cycle of theft and reactions. And the sooner you accept and embrace that, the sooner you realize that art is dead. Let's continue. <laughs> so if that's series 19, what do we have? Revived series. What does revived art attack look like? Wow, he may not have got his wish, but look, I've still got the scepter. 
Now, a scepter is something often carried by... Okay. I need to give this guy a chance because my gut reaction is, I don't like it. It's not right. But that's because he's not Neil Buchanan. He was my hero. But this guy, this guy could be the Neil Buchanan to kids of 2010 that Neil Buchanan was to me back in 1995. You know what I'm saying. Mixture made up of half glue and half water. Then stick on strips of newspaper. News... Newspaper? Where's the loo roll? Newspaper. Isn't it fabulous? All right, I'll give you that. It does look really cool. You're doing all right. The set's not a great... I mean, the set seems to just be that. I don't see anything else in the room. Let's see if there are any other episodes we can find. All right, we're gonna make a project. You'll need a box, a box. like this and a strip. So you need a strip? We'll strengthen it with newspaper strips and art attack paste. Uh, newspaper strips and art attack paste. What? They, di they ditched loo roll. The newspaper has all the bloody writing on it. And it doesn't give you any texture. Ugh. And then what's art attack paste? It's just glue and water, you nong. Did Disney trademark Art attack paste, which is just glue and water. Did they? Uh, Disney. Are you preparing to sue people who try and mix glue and water together? Because that would be a little too far. You don't own everything, Disney. Yet. Then draw another rectangle inside, creating a small margin. Turn it round and position half of it inside the frame. Cut it out and it will look like this. For the next bit, you'll need a piece of fabric like this. Apply glue to the support and stick on the bottom half of the fabric. Trim the edges. On the lid, try drawing a zigzag design. So now, let's add that colour. This is a great strong pink colour. Is it just me or is there a lot more steps to this project than there are in the classic Art Attack projects? Once it's dry, draw in the lines with a black felt tip pen. You'll also need paper fasteners like these and two strips made from a foam sheet. One for the handle and one for the latch. I mean, these steps are adding up and so are the art supplies. There's, there's, a, there's a lot to this. Put some modelling clay underneath the short strip first. <laughs> I mean, model, you really need a lot to do this project. The final piece of this drawing ball jigsaw is the handle. He calls it a jigsaw because even he realizes how overcomplicated this project is. Now you can open and close it to carry your creations around with you. I mean, I don't think that's just me. I think there are a lot more steps and things required to make that project. I feel like a lot of the appeal of the original Art Attack was a lot of the stuff was made with things that everyone had and it made it feel like anyone could do it. But I, honestly, I feel like watching this, it would have been cool to watch, but I don't feel like I would have been able to do it. As a kid, like there are so many steps and also materials that I just wouldn't have had lying around. Ah, uh, Disney, you don't quite get it, do you? So there's obviously an Indian version of Art Attack that seems to have gone on long and strong. I like it. I like it. I like you, buddy. I think I feel like this guy and the presentation of this this show is more authentic to the original Art Attack. Like, look at the set. This is like way more original Art Attack. They've, they've done the set properly. Look at that. This is epic. They've, they've, they've like properly reproduced it. This is pretty cool. With that said, we've got uh, we've got the international versions, the old version, and then the new remake by Disney. But I want to know where Neil, Neil Buchanan is these days. This is, a, this is an interview in 2011. I've put my own art collection together called Hope Street. Now, it's very nostalgic, a bit like Christmas. Oh, wow. Damn, Neil, Neil can actually paint. That is really cool. I actually didn't know that Neil Buchanan was like an arty artist, like, a, like a, a fine art artist. I thought he was like a wacky kids artist. That would be annoying to be the art attack guy and then have most people think, yeah, but you're not really an artist, are you? That's what they'd think it like because they're, mo they're mostly English that watch it because it's an English show and I wanted to do a voice like this. And I don't think it's quite accurate to English accents, but it's quite fun to try. How'd I go? Let me know in the comments if you're English, if I'm doing all right. Oh, Neil Buchanan's website isn't formatted for, unless that's a design choice. Doesn't matter how you scale the website, the, the N is underneath. So he's, he's avant-garde these days, but look at it. He's, this is awesome. New collections to be added in early 2019. He's going, you're going Neil, you bloody legend. Oh, that's great. What? What? He's a rock star, Neil. On leaving school when his guitar playing was good enough, he formed a band called ACDC. 
Mill Buchanan founded ACDC. Oh, wait. Unfortunately, the name was already taken by an older band who came over from Australia. So here it is, mates. Changed their band name to Marcel. Close. <laughs> 2010, he reformed his band and released a new album called Unfinished Business. <laughs> There he is! That's him! This is so crazy! <laughs> Alrighty! Oh, look at that! He did a, he did a little, little, little riff! Do it, Neil! Way! Oh, man, Neil! You are every bit as cool as my memories tell me you were! Oh. <laughs> I accidentally clicked to the wrong tab and got this guy. Even his looking at Neil like, oh, sh. I've got to live up to that. I think that'll do it for this video. It's been really fun to go. I just spat everywhere because I just can't, I can't contain how much fun I've had. I salivate. But it's been really fun to go back and see where a lot of, a lot of my inspiration as a kid came from. I was watching this show and I feel like a lot of you shared that with me because you've said so in the comments. So I thought it'd be fun to just have a look at it together and see if it lives up to, and I really feel like it lives up to all of my nostalgia and all of my memories. And, and I just think that's awesome because there aren't many things that will do that. And Art Attack has aged very well. I, I love it. And I am definitely going to be showing my kids episodes of Art Attack that I grew up with because they're just so fun and simple and creative and that's just, uh, I don't know, it makes me happy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to slap that like button down there if you enjoyed this video and if you want to join this channel for more fun with art and creativity, make sure to subscribe to Draw With Jazza for future videos and if you want to see other things I've done on this channel, you can look at the videos over there and there's some on my vlog channel behind the scenes. How is that? I think that accent's good enough. Yeah, all right. Nailed it.